Today we're talking all about the best crochet hooks for amigurumi and I'm going to be testing all of these crochet hooks to find which one is actually the best because I've had a favorite crochet hook for quite some time but I'm wondering if it's actually the best one for amigurumi and we're gonna test it and find out. I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com and one of the things that I want to stress before we get into this testing of all of these crochet hooks for amigurumi is that we all have personal preferences and what I prefer may not be what you prefer but I'm going to use the same yarn for each one of these crochet hooks and they are all 3.5 millimeter hooks which is my favorite size of hook to use for amigurumi. I also made an infographic that compared each one of these crochet hooks with links to the crochet hooks themselves but also I have a list of the price plus the pros and the cons so if you watch the video but you really want to be able to look at that information quickly all in one place you'll be able to find it in the description box below let's get started I cannot wait to start testing all of these hooks the first crochet Okay, let's not bite it. Okay, Pickle is going to bite it. Okay, the first crochet hook that we're going to start with is the Furls Odyssey. Full disclosure, this is my favorite crochet hook right now. I haven't tested the other ones yet. We're going to start off with a magic ring because that is a very common way that amigurumi patterns start. And if you need any help with that, I will leave a card up in the top corner of the screen for a tutorial that I have for how to do the magic ring. The things that I love about the furls crochet hooks are the handle. They're actually quite a bit heavier than most other crochet hooks and I actually prefer that and some people don't. The other thing that I really like about the furls crochet hook is the metal. The metal is very very smooth and it makes working into tight stitches much easier than if it's a non-smooth metal. This is when I like to see a crochet hook have a pointed head. Now the furls crochet hooks have a decently pointed head which makes getting into those stitches a little bit easier and that's what I really like about these hooks. There is one downside that I must tell you about and that is the cost. This is the most expensive crochet hook that I know on the market and it retails about $36. That's a definite negative in my opinion but I only use one size crochet hook so that way I don't need an entire set of these crochet hooks otherwise I wouldn't be able to afford it. The ergonomic hook is actually something that's really important to me because I've had a lot of tendonitis and tension in my hand. So having a nice big crochet hook like this feels great. Now we're going to test the Clover Amour crochet hook. I love using these hooks for anything other than amigurumi. This is my complete set here and this is the 3.5 millimeter hook but this is how they come when you purchase one of the hooks individually but this one is a 3.75 millimeter. These are actually really popular crochet hooks and this one might be your absolute favorite. The one thing that I notice right away about this hook is that the handle is quite narrow and I'm just used to holding something that's a little bit wider and a little bit bigger. But I do really love this rubbery texture on the handle. Now the other thing that I don't love about this hook is that the metal just isn't quite as slippery as the furls hook is. I do like the sharp pointed head on this hook which is a great feature when you're looking for a crochet hook for amigurumi because we're usually making pretty tight stitches and you need a crochet hook that's got a nice pointed head. I also like that this hook feels very strong. I don't feel like it's bending and I'm pretty tough on my crochet hooks. So the next crochet hook I'm going to try is this Tulip Etimo. I've actually heard a lot of really good things about this crochet hook. There's pickle in the background running all around. So I'm excited to try this one and see how it feels and how it works. So right off the bat, what I'm noticing is that it's a little bit shorter than my crochet hooks that I typically use. It feels a little bit small in my hand, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I feel like the metal on this tulip hook is a little bit smoother than the clover hook, but it's not quite as smooth still as the furls, but it's still really good and it's quite a bit less expensive than the furls hook. This tulip hook also has a nice sharp head, which is perfect for making amigurumi. So I like this hook. This is feeling really nice. It's comparable to the clover hook. 
So the next hook I'm trying is the Clover Soft Touch. And the first thing I'm really noticing is that this is a flat crochet hook. It is super flat in comparison to the other ones. As you can kind of see, that one is a lot more rounded and compared to the furls hook. Let's see how this feels crocheting. This is also a very short crochet hook and it's pretty short in this area as well on the neck. I'm not really sure why they call this a soft touch because this one's actually quite a bit harder than the Amur crochet hooks that they produce. I do like the smoothness of the metal here on the actual hook part. The head of the crochet hook is fairly pointed, so I like that about it, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not crazy about this handle. I feel like this is going to cause some cramping for sure because of this flat feeling on it, but I do like the smoothness of the metal. This is the Addy Premium Crochet Hook and I love the Addy brand for knitting needles so I'm excited to try this one to see what I think about it as a crochet hook. I like the round handle on this crochet hook. It actually feels really good. I don't like the flat feature of the previous clover hook that I just tried. I like the long metal part of the crochet hook here. I really prefer that to having one that's really short. This one has a great head that is nice and pointy to be able to get into those small little stitches. The handle feels okay. I don't like that it's super small. That's just my personal preference because I do get a lot of tension in my hands from crochet. I would like this if it was a little bit wider, but I do like these little grooves. I like the little texture. It feels good in my hand. The next crochet hook is another one from the company Addy, and this one is the Swing, and I'm really excited to try this one because it has a really unusual shape. So you can really see that it has a totally different shape than any crochet hook that I have ever tried before. So this is a little rubbery texture right here, and then this is a harder plastic. And then it has kind of a short little area right here for the crochet hook itself. So let's go ahead and try this one. The first thing that I will say is I think that it would take some getting used to, and I actually think that I could grow to really like it. I like that it's wider. I actually like this curve on it. It. What I don't love is how short the head of the crochet hook is. This is pretty short. I actually like it to be quite a bit longer, but let's see how it works once I'm actually getting in here to these stitches. I don't know if you can hear that squeaking. That's really dragging. This isn't a super smooth metal right here, but it does have a nice pointy head, which I do like that. The metal is dragging. I really wanted to love this crochet hook. Hmm. I really don't like how narrow this is. I tend to be a crocheter that likes a really long crochet hook neck there. So now we're getting into the super budget friendly crochet hooks that most of us can find in our local craft stores or even at Walmart. And this is the Susan Bates. It's an aluminum crochet hook and let's just see how we like this one. Right away, I'm not a big fan of how narrow this crochet hook is for me because of the tensions that I have, but I do like that there is a lot of room and it's not a short area for you to be able to actually crochet. The first thing that I can go ahead and tell you that I don't like is that it doesn't have a tapered neck. This one is an inline, so there's no tapering. It's as wide at the head as it is right here on the neck, so that is not my favorite. Now what I do like is that there's lots of room and I can move my yarn all around. I don't like the crochet hooks that have super short necks on them. Oh boy. The metal on this one is dragging. It's not super smooth like the one I'm used to. The head is pointy enough. It's not terrible, but I do find that this is a lot more difficult. This would not be my preference for crocheting amigurumi. This is really tough. If you've been using one of these crochet hooks, the Susan Bates, trust me, this is tough. And I can already feel the tension in my hands. Ooh, there we go. Okay, that was not pleasant. <laughs> 
not gonna lie. That was actually quite tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and try the next hook. The next budget-friendly hook that we're going to try is the boy hook. And we're gonna see how this one goes. The very first thing is that it does have a tapered neck, which I like, but it has a super narrow handle here, which I have found causes a lot of tension in my hand. So let's see how this one goes. So the first thing that I'm really noticing is that this one is definitely better than the Susan Bates. I am still feeling a lot of drag with the metal here and the narrow handle is already causing some tension in my hands. But I'm really curious to see how this does because it has a tapered neck now that we're working into these stitches. Again, this is actually pretty tough. And I really think it must have to do with it being aluminum and it's just causing a lot of drag. It is hard to pull and push that through. But if I had to choose between this and the Susan Bates, I would definitely choose this one. The other thing that I would be concerned about is just the strength of this hook. I have no doubts that I would bend this in about a hot second. I don't know if you can see how jerky this is. It's because pushing and pulling this through is extremely difficult. I'm going to go ahead and stop because this is actually really difficult and it's making my hands actually quite sore. This is definitely not my favorite hook. Going in order from least to favorite is number one. The Susan Bates is my least favorite for many different reasons. My next least favorite is the boy crochet hook. It's slightly better than the Susan Bates. Not much. I really wanted to like this Addy swing. Love the handle. Don't really like the neck part. My next favorite is the Addy premium. It actually felt really good in my hand and it has a nice pointed head on it as well. So my next one is the Clover Soft Touch. I was actually expecting this one to be even better than the standard Clover, but I didn't feel like it was. The next one is the Tulip Etimo. My next favorite is the Clover Amour Crochet Hooks. These are a favorite among crocheters and there's a reason why. I actually really like this hook and it would be my second choice for sure. I actually thought that my favorite crochet hook was going to change, but it didn't. This is my my absolute favorite crochet hook and I really now believe in it even more than I did before. It feels so good in your hand but also the length of the neck and let me just tell you that the drag that I felt on the other crochet hooks is actually pretty amazing. You will be so surprised if you've never tried a hook that has really smooth metal that it just slips through those stitches and there's no drag. You don't hear any squeaking and it is just a delight to work with. That was super interesting. I enjoyed Enjoyed testing those so very much and I honestly wasn't sure if the Furls crochet hook was going to end up being my favorite again but it was hands down so I want to say to all of you who are using the Susan Bates or a boy crochet hook that there is a major major difference and if you're having trouble with your amigurumi it may not be you so I want to really encourage you to maybe ask for a nicer crochet hook for your birthday or for Christmas like I've said before I only use one size for amigurumi. I don't use another size crochet hook. I use a 3.5 millimeter. I don't need a whole array of expensive crochet hooks because it wouldn't really be worth it for me. I just want to encourage you that if you are struggling, it may not be you. It may be your crochet hook and I am more convinced now than ever before that your tools matter so, so much. It really will make a world of difference, especially if you are using the boy or the Susan Bates crochet hooks. They may be great for other projects, but I really feel like for Amigurumi, they're going to make the job more difficult. And I'm sorry to say that. I don't want to say bad things about any crochet hooks or any companies because they all have their place, but there really is a difference. And I just want you to know that a better tool will make your job easier and you might be happier with the results of your work. You may be frustrated and it may not be because of you. It may be your hook. I also want to share with you this cute little crochet hook gauge that I bought from Julie from the Button Jar Studio. It's a really great tool, especially if you no longer know what size hook you have. So I'll leave a link for this in the description box as well. And it's really cute and it hooks right onto a project bag. That way I always know what size hooks I have. 
I hope you enjoyed today's episode and that I didn't make you too mad if I said I didn't like your favorite crochet hook. I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion and try all of these different crochet hooks and it was a really fun experiment for me to do. You'll find links for everything in the description box below, especially if you want to check out the infographic which compares all the different pros and cons and the prices of each one of the different crochet hooks. And I would love to hear from you. What is your favorite crochet hook? Is it one that I reviewed today or is it one that I didn't because I would love to know. But if you liked this video today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and also share this video with someone else that you think might really like this comparison of the different crochet hooks for Amigurumi. But as always, stay safe out there and happy stitching.